Hi, I'm Gerdes. Uh, we are at Boisserie at the tea plantation. Just going to show you how they produce the tea here. Yeah? Follow me. So down over here we've got uh, the sort of islands of Mauritius. It's quite high here. Yeah? And this is suitable for tea plantations. And uh, so you'll see people everywhere um, plucking tea and every, every person's got a specific spot that is his where he can pluck his tea every day. So John, just, just uh, let, let's just show uh, the people over here the, uh, the tea. So basically what you would pluck is you would, you would pluck the, the freshest leaves, uh, just the new growth. And that would go into a bag and then later on we're going to the tea factory to uh, see how they process this into, into actual tea that you drink. I pluck by hand and by machine. A plucker can take up to 50 kilograms of leaves per day in summer. One hour. One hour. One hour. Yeah. One hour? You can speak English. Yes. Can you speak English? Yes. Yes. Okay. But is this all yours? Or, uh, from it's, the for other it's for me. It's for me. For you? Yes. Since what time are you busy? Uh, three o'clock in the morning. Five. And now you finish for the day? And uh, at nine o'clock. Here we are at the, the weighing station and um, apparently they only pluck tea from about uh, sunrise up till 9 o'clock then they weigh the tea and that's it. Um, so the tea leaves are fresher and better to make tea when it's plucked early in the morning. Right, so we are at the tea factory now, but we are looking forward to see the tea factory at Bois Cherie. This is a crushing machine. Yes, this is the crushing machine. So they first dry it out so and the, then they crush it, or what? Drying, the leaves come down there, and then it's packed. You see the wall is packed the leaves. And this is the roller machine. Maybe you heard about the green tea. The green tea is not like the black tea. Vanessa has just told us that the first, um, the top three leaves are plucked by hand and that's a white tea and it's more expensive because of the uh, labor involved. That is why some people first put the milk. Yes, exactly. And then you put the hot tea. It's for protection of yes, the tea. protection of the porcelain. Because in the olden days, they didn't have, you know, that high temperatures. That's fascinating. Yes. I was always wondering why they do that. What I was wondering <laughs> is why some people do the milk first and then the hot tea. Others do. This is the story of tea. Yes. Uh, it was in 1765 when the priest Rene Francois Galois came to Mauritius back from China. He had tea plants in his luggage that he gave to Pierre Poivre. 
The first plantations in Boisheri started in 1892. This is over 100 years old. The tea plantations that we had a look at today. The tea grows in high and humid plateau. Bags full of tea arrive at the factory where they are conveyed to the withering rooms. Then the bags are emptied manually and spread over withering containers. During the 24th, uh, 24 hours, the leaves will lose water through ventilation. The weight will decrease by one third. The leaves are then finely chopped by two series of rotating blades. The color, the smell and the taste change. When the chopped leaves are exposed to air, it takes about one hour, 30 minutes. The tea will be dried in an oven at 110 degrees centigrade. going to uh, the Boisserie restaurant to have our the de gustation de thé which means the tea tasting Tasting, and these are the different kinds of teas that are available. It's all Mauritian tea. Wonderful. Yeah.